we have already discussed what are simple machines. Simple machines are devices which make our work easier and faster. There are six kinds of simple machines. The levers, the pulleys, wheel and axle, inclined plane, screw and the wedge. Today, we are going to talk only about the levers. So, what are levers? Levers consist of a rigid rod that can move around a fixed point called the fulcrum. Look at the picture. Here, the fixed point on which the rod rotates is the fulcrum. The big boulder or the rock which has to be moved is our load whereas the force applied by the person to lift the heavy object is our effort. Now, every lever consists of three essential components, the fulcrum, the load and the effort. Looking into each one in detail, the fulcrum, this is the fixed point of the lever on which the rigid rod moves. Effort is the force applied to lift an object, whereas the load is the resistance that is overcome by the lever. Now, based on the positions of the load, the fulcrum and the effort, we have three kinds of levers. The first class lever, the second class lever and the third class lever. Looking into each one in detail. Coming to the first class lever, here, the fulcrum is in the middle, whereas the load and the effort are on either side. We all have enjoyed a seesaw ride in our childhood days. There, the pivot on which the plank is fixed acts as a fulcrum, whereas the kids on either side take the place of the load and the effort depending on their position. Look at the scissor. Here, the point of attachment on which the handles move act as the fulcrum. The paper or the cloth which has to be cut is our load, whereas the force applied to cut the paper is our effort. A similar condition applies in pliers also. Pliers are devices which are used to remove nail from a plank. Here also, the point of attachment of the plier becomes a fulcrum. The nail which has to be removed acts as the load, whereas the force applied by us to remove the nail acts as the effort. Coming to the second class levers, here the load is in the middle, whereas the fulcrum and effort are on either side. We have seen a wheelbarrow being used by a gardener in a garden. Here, the wheel which is fixed to the ground acts as the fulcrum. The barrow in which all the sand and mud is put is the load, whereas the force which is applied by the gardener to move the barrow is the effort. Look at the lemon squeezer. Here again, the point of attachment becomes our fulcrum. The lemon which has to be squeezed is placed in the center which acts as the load, whereas the force applied by us to squeeze the lemon is our effort. A similar condition applies in nut crackers. Here too, the nut is placed in the center which is our load. The point of attachment becomes the fulcrum, whereas the force which we apply on the nut becomes the effort. Coming to the third class levers, here the fulcrum is at one side, the effort is in the middle, whereas the load is on the other side. 
we all had used a tong to lift up things. Here, we apply the effort in the center to pick up objects which act as the load. The tweezer or the forceps which are used in dissection in higher classes are also based on the same principle. Here too, the fulcrum is this point of attachment. The effort is applied in the center and the load is applied in the end. We all use staplers to staple paper. Here, we apply the effort in the center to staple the paper which is our load. So for a quick recap, we have three kinds of levers based on the position of the fulcrum, the load and the effort. We have the first class levers where the fulcrum is in the middle with load and effort on either side. The second class levers where the load is in the middle with fulcrum and effort on either side and the third class levers where the effort is in the middle and fulcrum and load on the either side. Look at the scissor. Here, the point of attachment of the two handles is the fulcrum. The paper or the cloth which we have to cut is our load. Whereas the force applied by our hands on the handles is the effort. A similar principle applies in pliers also. Pliers are devices which are used to remove a nail from a plank. Now here again, this point of attachment becomes our fulcrum. The nail which has to be removed is our load, whereas the effort applied on the handles helps us to remove the load. Coming to the second class levers, here this is a lemon squeezer where the point of attachment is the fulcrum. The lemon which we keep in the center is our load whereas the force applied to squeeze the lemon on the handles is our effort. Here is a nut cracker. A similar principle works on this also. Here too, this point of attachment is our fulcrum whereas the nut which we have to crack is kept in the center acting as the load whereas the effort is applied on the handles. The third class levers. We all use a tong to lift up objects. Here this is a point of attachment. Definitely it is the fulcrum. The effort is applied in the center to pick up the load in front. A similar principle applies in tweezers also. Tweezers or forceps are used in, for dissection in higher classes. Here too, this is our effort which is applied in the center to pick up small tissues which are the load in front. And this is the point of attachment which is the fulcrum. We all use staples in our daily life to staple paper. Here too, the effort is applied in the center to staple the paper which is our load. Now it's fun time. There is a cute little girl named Mona. She wants to eat her ice cream. But there is one condition. She has to pass through a maze. Not only that, before passing through a maze, she has to use all the squares which have the first class slivers. Try doing it at your own pace and time. Thank you.